Hello, today I thought I'd go ahead and explain to you how the high lids, hygrometer lids work and what they're used for um, and how they can benefit you. Um, as you can see, um, I, I offer uh, digital and I also offer analog in wide mouth and regular mouth. Um, what these allow you to do um, is monitor the moisture content of any herbs or whatnot that are inside your jars. So at, we're reading at about 40% right here. That means anything in here is safe from bacteria growth and mold growth. Um, you want to keep this number here down below 62%. Anything above that, that's where mold and bacteria can grow. So it's very important that you monitor your moisture content. And also, you also want to maximize your moisture. You want to put as much moisture into your herbs as possible to maximize its potency and its aroma and whatnot. Um, so you want to get it up to about 60%, 62% is ideal, 63% is where it starts going downhill. That's where you have to be really cautious. If it's for short-term storage, it's not that big of a deal, um, but for long-term storage, you always want to keep it below 62%. So these now allow you to monitor your moisture inside your container, and you can make adjustments as you need it. When I say making adjustments, I kind of mean these guys here. These are very popular right now, um, the humidity packs. Um, these gel packs, some of these are just little cardboard packs inside, whatever you want to call cardboard moisture packs. Um, these are really popular. Um, I don't care for them much because they have a shelf life. Uh, once you activate these things and put them into a jar, they tend to only last about two months, maybe three if you're lucky. Uh, also depends on the amount of moisture inside your herbs and how often you open and close your container. Um, I myself have a personal preference and that is these little guys right here. I actually make these. I, I made these because there was a niche um, that needed to be filled and these are mini humidifiers that you can add your own water to, um, distilled water, purified water, whatever, as long as it's not tap water um, that comes out with the chemicals and chlor um, chlorines and whatnot. You don't want to put that in with your herbs. So what I did is I designed these really nice and narrow so you can put them inside a jar on the side wall of them and then you can add one or two little drops of water into these and then you can adjust them to whatever you want. You're not going to be have, not going to be stuck at this 62% or 54% or whatever. They have 70s. Um, you're not stuck at that. You're now able to adjust it to whatever you want it to be and they work indefinitely. You know, as long as there's water as long as this thing stays on the wall, then you'll be able to continue to use it. Um, you'll notice you also get these little sticker. When you purchase my, my lids, you, you get some stickers, you, you get adjustment instructions, you get a spare battery for the digital when you order those and a spec sheet that comes with those also. And I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing these here in uh, with every six pack order. I offer a special deal on my six packs. Um, basically you, you, you get five for the price of, or you get six for the price of five. Um, so that's kind of it. That, that's a quick little rundown of them. Um, there's a lot more detail I can get into, but it, it's very important that you uh, monitor your herbs it's, and don't let them um, exceed that 62% for long-term storage. And there's also ways that you can restore that dry herb that you're getting from the retailers. Uh, the retailers, they're, they're smart and safe. That's what they're playing right now. And that's why you, when you go to a retail store, their herbs are not what you think that they should be. They're, they're drier than they should be. They don't smell as strong as they should smell. They're not as sticky as they should be. Um, that's because they've had to lower that humidity, that moisture content down to an air, uh, down to a level they don't have to worry about mold. All it takes is one case of mold in one of their baggies and it could ruin their business. So they'll bring this moisture content down into the low 40s. Um, and I've seen it even below that where um, it, to me I mean, back in the day that would be considered garbage. So um, what's really neat about these is even if the moisture in your herbs is down into that 40s range, you can slowly bring that moisture level back up. I recommend it slowly over time, um, but you definitely can get uh, all those cannabinoids to uh, refill with moisture. Uh, what happens is they slowly shrink down and like I said, it, it affects multiple um, things such as the aroma, the potency, um, and whatnot. So there you go. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, and these can be found on Etsy. These can be found on Amazon, or you can go directly to highlids.com and uh, get the best deal there. There you go. Thank you for watching.